It's Chris. Why won't you believe me? Oh man! All wow, right. that's that's I've a good set of stuff I there. You've been waiting for this. May it's time 7th. for the world premiere so first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Alongside this first look, we have Pete Fabiano back to offer some insights as well. All right, so Pete well. is coming back, and look. we are going to take a first look at the game. So I guess we're going to get some gameplay footage here. World premiere, yes, our second world now premiere. Now we're here to give you an exclusive first look. At Resident Evil Village. Yes, Pete, I love him. So Pete is the reason I'm back on Twitter, by the way. A lot of you don't know that. Uh, I went Just to like uh, Resident Evil 7 I went to Capcom's booth at uh, Comic-Con 2019, two You'll years ago. Your way from the village and to the I met Pete, talked to him. We had talked before. Players I met him before on a, a trip I had done a while back uh, where I went to San Francisco. As you've noticed and, um, by now. And they Resident did like a Evil Resident Evil 7 the first lantern demo play event. We think it really draws um, players into the detail. And, uh, and so I saw him and I was like, hey man, and you know, catching up with him, telling him about all my stuff and wanting to start this show and everything. And uh, and he said, dude, if you're going to do that, you got to get back on Twitter. He's like, make sure you follow me. So he was the first person I followed on Twitter was Pete. Uh, and I'll have his his uh, account right there. It's like Capcom Dev One, I think. So I'll put it right there so you guys can go follow Pete. Awesome dude. You'll see a lot of those little details. Look at the details here. here. Oh man, this uh, this engine, this RE engine, is beautiful. Look at the walls. Very Resident Evil Four walls right the there. Team put a ton of uh, I don't think that's accidental. Um, I have a feeling we're either going to get a Code Veronica remake or a Resident Evil Four remake at some point soon. Because Code Veronica had a lot of Victorian style stuff, and Resident Evil Four had a lot of um, you know outdoor village type places, but also. Now um, it's time to meet oh, some of the boss fight. Um, as you'd expect. Oh, and it has a split staircase. Really That's cool. But not as like obvious as uh, the first one. Uh, just kind of a nod to it. Um, oh! Man blood. Whoa. So these three bug ladies, huh? Whoa! Ah, now. Let's take um, a look at it. But yeah, and then Resident Evil 4 had like a wow. castle environment wow. and, Ethan Winters. Um, you know, you and the outdoor stuff, the village Eve stuff. Games, did you? Wait. Let's see how special you are. You escaped my little brother's idiot games? Her little brother? Who's that? Shifting gears a bit. We're finally So it's another family, like Seven had, kind of. But are these people victims, like the Bakers were? Or are these, they straight up evil? Oh, here we go. It's not just about shooting. Guard it. He's got a sword. An important part of the game. Oh, you gotta shoot the weapons out of their hands. Wow. Wow, you gotta shoot the weapons out of their Oh, look, there's the big guy. So you need to change up your strategy. So these are like full on werewolf guys, almost. Whoa, whoa! Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? Haha, <laughs> nice. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels. Well, don't miss. That's what I do. But you guys Some should shoot them a similar <laughs> when enemies are nearby. Resident Evil 4. This time around, see, you look. Crafting, which Resident Evil 4. Items such as first aid and ammo. So you can do the crafting still, but you have a Resident Evil 4 style um, There's also an inventory, of weapons to which find and utilize I think they're the doing game. on purpose because I think we're going to get a Resident Evil 4 remake at some point. Uh, and just like Resident Evil 4, there's also a merchant. Look at this guy. How do you know my name? Anyone who's anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant Why is that? makes a return. This time he's known as the Duke. The Duke. You'll be going to him to buy he's and sell Duke, weapons, huh? amongst other things. Not an Earl. Oh, okay, so you can, to you can buy stuff from him. You'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. Yeah. yeah. He seems very, uh, like, over the top, which is kind of fun. Look at that. Smashing things Smash open to get items. Trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your trap. And those vases are very similar to Resident Evil 4 as well. Wait. Do you hear that? Yeah, and what? we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Whoa. Oh, instead of a bobblehead, of course it goes without it's like little goats. That there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve. That's cool. Oh, puzzle time too. Nice. Oh, and uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. Oh crap! Bugs. <laughs> nice. 
Dude, this gameplay is, is nice. I like it. Oh, look at the banister! That little circle banister? That's like straight out of Code Veronica. I haven't cut open a man in a while. I mean, I think they had one or two of those in four also, but definitely give me a Code Veronica vibe. So this is another boss fight, or maybe she's like a mini boss or just an enemy, that strong enemy that pops up. Ooh. Well, that's one way to end the video. <laughs>